Welcome to today's segment where we are diving into the latest news surrounding Sebastian Gorka, a name that has been stirring up controversy in the United States politics. Donald Trump has made headlines once again, but this time for his pick for the senior counter-terrorism role in the potential next administration. Who exactly is Sebastian Gorka and why is he such a controversial figure? Let's break it down. Sebastian Gorka is a British Hungarian American who made uh, his mark in politics with bold, often divisive opinions. He was born in London in 1970 to Hungarian parents who had fled the communist regime. Now, this upbringing influenced Gorka's strong stance against the communism, which would later shape his career. He became involved in Hungarian politics in the early 1990s and even ran for mayor in Hungary in 2006 though he lost by just 40 votes. After moving to the US and gaining citizenship in 2012, Gorka became aligned with Donald Trump's political moment. He worked as a policy consultant during Trump's 2016 campaign, marking the start of their close relationship. Now, Gorka served as a deputy assistant to the president and counter-terrorism strategist in Trump's first administration starting in 2017. He was known for his no-nonsense, aggressive approach towards counter-terrorism. In fact, Gorka was a very vocal supporter of Trump's controversial plan to ban on Muslim majority countries and he argued that Islamist terrorism was one of the greatest threats to Western society. However, his time in the White House was short-lived. Sources say that Gorka clashed with other officials and eventually he resigned claiming that force within the administration were working against Trump's agendas. So, what's fueling all these controversies around him? Well, one major issue is Gorka's alleged ties to far-right groups. One of the most notable accusations is that Gorka has connections to the Hungarian nationalist group called Vitesi Red, which has been linked to Nazi collaborators. In fact, he was seen wearing a medal associated with the group at Trump's inaugural uh, ball back in 2017. While Gorka insisted that he never swore allegiance uh, to the group, civil rights uh, organizations have raised concern about the affiliations, questioning whether they were fully disclosed during uh, the process or not. But Gorka's controversies don't stop there. He is also known for his dramatic and often inflammatory statements. For example, during his first term in the White House, he was quoted as saying, the alpha males are back. And his personal promotions of the dietary supplements raised a lot of eyebrows. Plus, Gorka has faced legal charges too, including a misdemeanor charges for trying to carry a pistol through security at the airport in Washington, D.C. Now, despite all these criticisms, Trump has decided to reappoint Gorka to a senior counter-terrorism position in his potential new administration. Many experts and commentators are alarmed by this particular decision, questioning Gorka's qualification and his hardliner views. Some have even described him as a clown who ill suits for this crucial position. The Democratic National Committee has called him a far-right extremist uh, and he they says that uh, his views would be very dangerous for the US counterterrorism strategy. However, Trump has stood uh, by his decision, praising Gorka's strong support for the America First agenda. So, what do you think? Will Sebastian Gorka's return to the White House bring more controversy? Or will he prove to be a key figure in fighting terrorism? Let us know in the comment section below and stay tuned as we continue to track the story and bring you the latest updates.